Have you ever stopped to think where your milk, meat, or even honey comes from? Behind these everyday items is a set of practice called animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is just a fancy word for scientific care, breeding, and management of animals to meet human needs. It includes cattle farming, poultry farming, fish farming, and beekeeping. Simply put, animal husbandry helps feed the world. Now, in this video, we are going to zoom into the two parts of this system that is cattle farming and poultry farming. Let's dive in and see how this system starting with cattle farm. So first thing first, a good housing, hygienic, well-planned housing is foundation of healthy cattle and good milk production. A proper cattle shed should have a concrete roof and a very good ventilation. The floor should be slightly raised and smooth. That way it stays easy to clean and doesn't stay wet. But here is something to watch out for. If it's too smooth, it can actually hurt the cattle. It may cause lameness. A clean cattle shed helps prevent diseases and keeps the animal comfortable. Now let's talk food. Because just like us, cattle need proper nutrition, right? Their feed is divided into two main types. Live feed and production feed. Live feed is all about the helping their bodies grow. On the other hand, production feed helps boost milk output and work strength. And we are talking about the types of feeds like green grass, dry grass and leaves which are high fiber feed and uh, the food grains, oil seed and sorghum which are grain based feed. And don't forget we also add added minerals and feed additives. So to sum it up, high fiber feed and grain based feed is the live feed which is essential for body growth and minerals and additives for our production field for milk output and strength. Now here is not so fun fact, just like humans, cattle can also fall sick. External parasites can lead to skin diseases and internal parasites cause serious illness like spleen fever, dys dysentery, pneumonia and diarrhea. And when cattle fall sick, they eat less and the milk production takes a hit. It drops. So how do we prevent all this? It all comes down to keeping the cow shed clean, brushing and cleaning the cattle regularly, using disinfectants and vaccinations on time. These steps go a long way in keeping your cattle healthy and productive. Alright, so that's cattle farming in a nutshell. Now let's switch gears and talk about poultry farming. Poultry farming is or poultry farming means raising birds like chicken, ducks and turkey and among these chicken are the most commonly farmed. They are raised for two main reasons actually, egg and meat. The ones that are raised for meat are fast growing breeds. Examples include a seal and the Scornish broiler. On the flip side, the ones that are raised for egg are high laying breeds like a Plymouth Rock and White Leghorn. Here is an interesting fun fact. The Plymouth rock bead is actually used for both egg and meat, right? Now let's talk something very very important, crossbreeding. For better results, breeders often cross one breed, for example a seal may be crossbred with white leghorn. To create a new breed that is more efficient. Why do we do this? Well. Uh, Crossbreeding improves egg and meat quality, it increases the climatic resistances, it cuts down on the cost, it makes better use of local feed and results in a smaller productive flocks. Pretty neat, right? Yes, it is. Speaking of meat production, let's not forget the broiler chickens. These are specially raised for meat and are given vitamin rich feed to help them grow fast. But there is a catch, they are sensitive and need extra special care. Boilers are often Boilers often lack proteins and vitamin A and K and they are vulnerable to viruses, bacteria, fungi and worms. They are also vulnerable to malnutrition related diseases. So what's the solution? How do we protect them? Again, regular cleaning, use of disinfectants, timely preventive vaccination and proper housing with ventilation is the key. Not just for the health of the chicken, but also for the overall success of the poultry farm. So in this video, we have explored how to raise cattle and poultry farming and how poultry farming works. In the next video, we will take a closer look at the world of fish farming and beekeeping.